At Alto University, Department of Communications and Networking, we have designed and implemented a prototype for low-power remote device-free intruder localization system based on radio tomographic imaging. With this system, one could localize precisely an object within an environment without using any tags attached to it. For our experiment, we use a small lightweight robot called Pioneer 3DX, which is ideal for indoor use. The Pioneer 3DX platform has ability to localize using sonar, laser, and onboard inertial sensors. Robot can be controlled by an operator, or it can navigate by itself. In order to use the robot in our experiment, we installed a barrel on top of it filled with the liquid which represents the electromagnetic properties of human body at 2.4 GHz frequency. This figure shows our system overview. As it is seen, we are deploying a low-power capillary network based on IEEE 802.15.4 radio. The low-power capillary network will be managed by a gateway node which can be remotely accessed over any communication means such as LTE system. The intruder is our robot. The network data will be relayed to operator through the application server. The operator is a remote off-the-shelf laptop computer which is running one of the popular operating systems such as Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. The operator gets the collected measurements in time critical manner and is able to configure the system. The intruder position is estimated using radio received signal strength measurements of each node in the capillary network. We demonstrate the system in four stages, two of which are required for preparation. First, we deploy the system and set up the stage for the experiment. Second, we run the robot around the stage to collect the data from its laser scanner to create the map of the environment. After that, we use our own developed software to fine-tune the map. The third step is to do the actual experiment where we do the localization. And finally, we generate the results. In this stage, you see the environment created by the experiment. The network is accessed by the operator using a sync node. The capillary network of 16 nodes is deployed in a rectangular area of approximately 6 by 6 meters. The robot is also equipped with a node to synchronize its position measurements with the capillary network operation. The obstacles are chairs and tables in different positions, and the nodes are adjusted on tripods approximately one meter above the ground. Map creation includes three parts. First, we run the robot to collect the data from its laser scanner. Second, the distance measurements from the laser scanner are registered to create a map of the environment. We observe the collected data and the robot movements in a graphical form. Finally, we process the map data by grouping the points to make a cleaner map for the real experiment. This allows easier node position assessment and visual evaluation. In this stage, we experiment the intrusion monitoring. The robot wanders randomly on the stage. When it senses an obstacle, it changes the direction. Sync node generates beacon signal periodically 
and the other nodes transmit their measurements using frequency hopping in three channels in round-robin fashion. The node's transmissions are sniffed by the sync node, and the measurements are acquired for real-time intruder localization using radiotomographic imaging. In this graphical presentation, the localization results of both radiotomographic imaging and robot sensory are shown. As it can be observed, the two results are coinciding very closely. This demonstrates the high precision of our prototype design and implementation. Thank you very much for watching our video, Alta University, Department of Communication and Networking.